Hi. Uh, important topic here. Um, why do I do long-term research and look at longer-term cycles, like the 500-year cycle of human evolution and inflation and expansion of specialization in labor? I look at this for a reason. It gives us direction. Yes, I will not be alive when this next cycle peaks, but it will tell us something very important that despite the demographic downtrend that we're seeing, which if I only looked at demographics, which are my key cycles, it would say that the developed world is just going to continue to decline and the, and the emerging world after them. What would make a difference in that cycle aging if we live to be 100, 120 years old, which the oldest people have um, through natural health and uh, genes? 120, we would be in the workforce twice as long. Instead of uh, retiring at 63, we would retire at, let's say, 100, 110, and be in the workforce, you know, 50 to 60 years instead of 40 some years. That would change the demographic profile that says that the developed world is just going to keep slowing and spending as people retire and then die. So this is a big deal. And I think this is going to happen on our 45-year cycle, uh, especially between the early 2030s and 50s. I, I will, you know, barely be alive by there. But, but this is important to note that if you see the longer-term cycles, they will tell you where we're headed. And that's exactly why we look at the 250-year revolutionary cycle, which is about to hit the biggest innovation, social, politically, since democracy. Was that an important trend? The stock markets have been flying since the late 1700s after that trend. So that's why we study longer-term cycles. Not that I care to live that long or will live that long. It's because they tell you the direction and critical trends that are about to shift. We are about to see the greatest political social revolution since the advent of democracy itself. And we're about to see another incredible globalization revolution and rise in prosperity and inflation as the third world urbanizes. Um, into 2140, right on this 500-year cycle. So that's why we study this stuff.